So now the question is, should we just stent it? Should we? All right, I'm gonna. I'll, 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 I'm not gonna be a hero here. I'm gonna actually get the cosier back, and we'll just uh, do the exchange. All right, so we have a Godzilla behind us. We're putting uh, this is a stent, right? Yes. Over the wiggle wire, over Hill and Dale. Let's see how it goes. And as you see, it goes really easily. <laughs> not. So we'll try a little bit, but we're not going to go crazy. We can always stent this first, right? We'll deal with that later. So here comes the Gorilla Godzilla. And uh, now let's see if we can get this across. Made a difference, didn't it? Oh, Telling you almost. This almost. First cut. First cut, yeah. I hear you whispering. <laughs> what are you saying? Now, wh one thing about. Um, I was just saying that the only time I ever use an eight French um, is for reverse cart. Yeah, Otherwise, exactly. I always use a six French guide. I'm going to ask Caleb to give a little yeah. test here, but really careful because we got that guy, that Godzilla in there, and that could tear up the vessel. Matter of fact, I'll pull it back a little bit. A little test there, see if we're far enough. It looks like it almost is far enough, right? But not quite. Okay. So now we're going to try to get the uh, guide liner or the Godzilla. What about flexibility? Because this, this is a bend. It's got to go through the lesion and around the bend. We'll see how well Godzilla. it works. Should work. Yeah, I think Godzilla should make that bend. Okay. Okay, so let's take the Godzilla here. And uh, let's see, an easy test there. I got you open, try it again. My fault. Okay, good. So let's take the balloon up here to 10. One up. We're at 10. Uh, 12. Was this, was this uh, NC or not? No. Okay, 14. 14. 16. Okay. 16. Now come on down. We'll down just put some steady pressure on this as the balloon goes down and see where it goes. Here we go. <coughs> so that looks pretty good. Beautiful. Put the guide in a little yeah, bit Yeah, and then maybe one more step downstream. Exactly. And my guide wire came back a little bit, so push that forward. Push the balloon forward. I don't want to blow it up here, though. And that no, really just maybe four atmospheres, yeah. Or just maybe even without. Let's just try it first without even blowing it up. See if that. Okay. See? There you go. Beautifully illustrated. Great. Now we've delivered the Godzilla. All right, enough for that? Yeah. I think that's far enough, right? Let's try my stent now. Now look at this. Not wanting to go. That's annoying. All right, let's get a. Give me an 8 uh, NC, a 2 and a quarter 8 NC balloon. So this is what we're talking about by, by complex PCI. It's a perfect example, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But also telling Tony, like, this is not something that can be done, you know, by the casual interventionist who's got 30 patients in clinic to see after he finishes a case here, because these cases take time, and these cases require a commitment that you have to uh, make to start doing them. Yeah, I also, I feel pretty strongly that if you're not doing, you know, 150 maybe a year, you shouldn't be doing these. Yeah. Maybe even 200 is better, but, you know. So now I've taken the smaller balloon, and it's an <coughs> NC, and we're going to just, a little test there. Remember, you're down, do the guide so easy. So, Paul, how would you define complex PCI? Take it up. What would you? 10, yeah. anything that takes me more than 10 minutes to do. 14, 18, <laughs> 20. 18. There you go, Krista. 20. You know, I, I think it's very lesion, more lesion than, than, than uh, clinical. Uh, down. Down 20. I want to see if I can get the guideline to go even further. Uh, you know, bifurcations, left main, only remaining circulation. K 
calcium. That's the. I take it up there, 20. At Scripps, are you guys seeing more complex PCI cases? 20. Over the last year, as opposed 22. to, say, 22. three or four years ago? Actually, I think I have just the opposite happening to me, and that's because I think this is getting out there now. A lot of people are doing it. Come on down. And so I think my, you know, I get, I get the cases referred to me, that, like this one, and I think that, you know, I've trained 70 fellows now. <laughs> so they're out there. And they're, they're pretty. They're pretty competent to do this kind of. Stuff. I like to keep these stents not hooked up because I super stuff superstition. Did Bill mention anything? Let's get that right. Bill. Did That's Bill right. hear anything? What do you think? What do you think we got it? I don't know. I don't know. So you guys test there and see. We definitely got it. Okay, but I think you're there. I'm past nice. it, right? Right about there is where I'm gonna go, right? Did I do that wrong? Uh, one second. Let's just. Let's just. Yeah, we're gonna do an easy test here. Again, you got. You're in the guideliner, so. All right, so I can come back a little bit, right? Test there. See where we are. Easy. Okay, I think that's what I want, right? Here. I'll save some radiation and dye and do the store floor. You guys like this? Back further? Maybe back a tiny bit? Looks good. Come back just a hair, a micro hair. Okay, test there. It's too much back. Test again. Should have been a longer stand, maybe. Uh, all right, take it up there, 10. 10. 12, 14. 12, 14. 18. 18. Come on, open. Open says me. Is it open says me or open sesame? Or is that an Italian that says me? What are you up to now? 18. 18, 20, 22. 22. All right, down. Stent play. <coughs> huh. Now, is this not long enough, guys? We're going to have the same problem we just had in the other room? We're going to Ibis this or no? What do you think? I feel like it should be longer, don't you think? Give me help, guys. I think you should cover the ostium. It needs to be longer. Is this a 12? Yeah. I would go with like a 16 or, Maybe or a 8, 20. 20. 20, right. yeah. Let's try a 20, guys. So as far as going after the right, I wouldn't do the right. That looks like it's going to be just as hard as this case. Yep. I would instead FFR the LED and get the issue resolved whether you need to do the, the LED or not. So um, let's just give me another wire. I want to do a kiss with a 3.5 balloon, high pressure, and a, uh, a 3 -0 on the ongoing, okay? Does you all agree with that? You see, the, you, see the, you see the problem there? I think it's been stented, so I think I just have to do it with a... Or do you disagree with me? No, no, we agree with eight. you. Got the three five. You do. I have a three five. Okay. So let's just take that up to start. I think I have a three zero. You sure? Okay. Okay. So then, uh, yeah, stuff. I definitely have the cert. Just take yours up, please. Take you take it up to ten. Fourteen. Paul, do you have 14. any uh, teaching points Down. to determine the balloon sizing when you kiss at a bifurcation that you want to pass on to the? Uh, well, there's that here. two. There's, you, know, you take two diameters and you uh, put them together, then di just multiply by 0.7, and that gives you the final diameter. And that's what <coughs> we've been using for years. So we have right now we have a 3.0 and a 3.5 in there together. So if you, if you put them together, so let's let's take them. Uh, you've got the 3.5. I'll take it up. No. Take it up to 10. First thing I want to do is stretch that one out. We're at 10. 12, 14, 14, 18, 20. 18, 20. 22. 22. Okay. And then uh, now go down to one. And I'll take mine to about eight. Okay, down to one. Okay. And now I'm down to one. Now let's both go up to, like, say, 14. At this point, at 14, 14. atmospheres, three, two, one, down. Uh, you, got you got a 3 5 and a 3 0. Oh, that's uh, 6.5. What's two thirds of 6.5? Anybody know how to do that? 
three. Two thirds of six point five is going to be about four, a little over four, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. four. So it's basically a four. Oh, looks pretty good, huh? Looks nice. All right, so we're going to FFR the other one. Let's take these wires out. Where I think we're done with the hard stuff. Well, I think we really repaired this vessel nicely. We're looking for problems anywhere, left main, anywhere. I, I, I pulled it out because I was concerned. Ready? Nice. Beautiful. Looks very. I very think that's nice. a very elegant response vessel. Very nicely done. Uh. So I actually mean it. I think that that that. Uh, for more of this, just come to our October course every year. <laughs> That's what we do. We usually do 20 cases like this over three days. And uh, they get harder gradually as it, as it goes on. And uh, we, get some, we, do, we do some retrograde CTOs and integrate, but it's, we don't focus entirely on that. We kind of try to mix up the complexity. Yeah, you, you see the distal thing there that you mentioned, right? That kind of bend. But we decided not to get that. Is that all right? Yes. I think it's the right thing to do. All right. I think it's all done. I think we did a great job. Yeah. Thanks to everyone in the cath lab That's for really your good. help. And yeah. um, thank you very much. Enjoy yourselves. Thanks.